whole combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard. No song that I could sing, but I can try for your heart. And our dreams, and they are made out of real things, like a shoebox of photographs with sepia tone loving. Love is the answer, at least for most of the questions of my heart. Like why are we here and where do we go and how come it's so hard? And it's not always easy and sometimes life can be deceiving. I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together. Mm, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, we'll look at them stars and we're together. Well, it's always better when we're together. Yeah, it's always better when we're together. I find their way into my dreams tonight But I know that they'll be gone When the morning light sings or brings new things For tomorrow night you see That they'll be gone too Too many things I have to do But if all of these dreams might find their way into my day-to-day -day scene I'd be under the impression I was somewhere in between With only two, just me and you Not so many things we got to do what places we got to be We'll sit beneath the mango tree now Yeah, it's always better when we're together Mmm, we're somewhere in between together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together I can't believe this day is finally here. I am so excited, not just for today, but to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. You mean the world to me, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I can't wait for us to start a family and see what the rest of the future holds. Here's to a lifetime of happiness. Love, your husband. Welcome everyone. We're gathered here today to celebrate and to witness the joining of Kelly and Ryan in marriage. As they promise to love, trust in that love, honor one another as individuals, and anticipate with joy spending the rest of their lives together. They are surrounded by you, their friends and family. Thank you for coming here to witness their marriage and to share the joy of this special occasion. And now, Ryan's dad, Peter, will read the poem, The Art of Marriage, by Wilfred A. Peterson. Peter? Kelly and Ryan asked me to read this today. I guess having been married 28 years qualifies me to read this poem. It's The Art of Marriage, as Linda said. And it goes like this. In a marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. 
doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty and sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy, speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow old. Common search for good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. So now we're going to have them prepare. We're going to do the sand ceremony. So we begin with a layer of white sand, which symbolizes the foundation of their relationship. Now Kelly and Ryan will each separately pour their sand into the vase, symbolizing who they are as individuals. blending their two colors as a symbol of their joining together forever in love. Okay, now I'm pouring the last layer, and this is representing all of you, your fr their friends and family. Though the vase may move around and the colors may shift, blending in new ways, the grains of sand cannot be separated. They will remain joined in a harmonious whole. May your love be as internal and inseparable as the sand. Now the poem, Union, by Robert Fulman. You've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all of those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will, all those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that were unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. <laughs> Ready for the vows? All right. Ryan, repeat after me. <clears throat> Kelly, I take you to be my best friend. Kelly, I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner and my one true love. My faithful partner and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. And to love you truly through good times and bad. And to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down and to love you unconditionally. To lift you up when you're down and love you unconditionally. 
Through all of our adventures in life together. Through all of our adventures in life together. Kelly, repeat after me. Ryan, I take you to be my best friend. Ryan, I take you to be my best friend. My faithful partner and my one true love. My faithful partner and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. And to love you truly through good times and bad. And to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you. I will forever be there to laugh with you. To lift you up when you are down and to love you unconditionally. To lift you up when you are down and love you unconditionally. Through all of our adventures in life together. Through all of our adventures in life together. Kelly, I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. Kelly, I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife this day and forevermore. I choose for you to be my wife this day and forevermore. Ryan, I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. Ryan, I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. As a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband this day and forevermore. I choose you to be my husband this day and forevermore. Ryan and Kelly, you have heard the words about love and marriage, have exchanged your vows and made your promises, and celebrated your union with the giving and receiving of rings. It is at this time I pronounce you husband and wife. Ryan, you now kiss your bride.
unashamed Keep that breathless charm of the new Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Kelly Frocky, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Assembled right outside this door is tonight's wedding party. Before we introduce them, I'd like to acknowledge the grandparents of the groom at their seats. Let's hear it for Anna and Francesco Frocky, ladies and gentlemen. Take your cap. And now entering the room, let's hear it for the parents of the bride, Kevin and Mark.
can count the times I almost said what's on my mind But I didn't And just the other day I wrote down all the things I'd say But I couldn't I just couldn't And put your hands together for you Kelly and her dad, Kevin. She'll take you in, feed your friends, her open arms are welcoming. She'll rub your back all night when you're crying. She'll listen to you tell your story Hold your fear and all your worries Help you find the truth when they're all lying Even when it's hopeless she keeps trying She's your mother, you love her There won't be another place like her again you call home She stands here Help you. There's nothing she won't do As long as she's alive You're not alone You've got each other That's your mother She fixes all the broken things When you're in love She's got a ring to give to you She hopes you'll give away you give it to where they're from if they pray like you as long as they are good to you that's enough 
first thing she taught you was love is love She's your mother, you love her There won't be another place like her again that you call home One more time for Ryan and his mom, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for him. I'm Kelly's cousin. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. Kelly has always been like an older sister to me. When she was a teenager and the coolest person I knew, she'd let me flip through her 17 magazines and listen to her Taylor Swift CDs. As we both matured, Kelly became someone I could turn to for support as I worked to become a teacher and graduate from college. She, always, she has always offered me a hand to hold, words of advice, and a place to land. Anyone who knows her knows that Kelly is dedicated to the people that she loves, and she will do all she can for them. I'm so happy to see her with someone who can be that kind of support and comfort for her. Someone who can care for her just as deeply as Kelly cares for everyone around her. Kelly and Ryan, congratulations on your marriage. I'm so grateful to see a love like yours and wish you the very best. We love you. Congratulations. For those of you who don't know me, I am the younger brother of the groom, uh, four years younger. And as you all know how most best man speeches start, they say, oh, he is the better brother. But we all know I can't say that, right? <laughs> So as I kid, I kid, uh, let me look back upon some of the times that we had together. So I'm four years younger than Ryan. Uh, Ryan's been there with me through everything. Uh, growing up together, uh, he was just on the other side of one wall, um, always being super close, uh, especially you know, he, him being right there, he had a remarkable influence. Being four years older, uh, being younger than him, you just assume that he knows all the answers in the world, right? Uh, so I end up going to him for, you know, a lot of my questions throughout life. Um, and, and that's something that I really, truly treasure to be able to have uh, going forward. Um, one thing that was really always big for me was honesty. The, the amount of honesty that Ryan had and that Ryan has always held himself throughout his life has been impeccable. You know, whether I was there in, in the third grade looking for an impartial view or uh, a, different, a different viewpoint or maybe even something that I haven't even considered yet, he was kind of always the one there to be able to let me take a step back and think about things and, and see the world in the true way that it is. And I, I think it's done a lot to really kind of help me grow up and become the person who I am today having the views and understanding that I do with him being there. Uh, so that's something that I, I definitely, truly treasure forever. Um, and I wouldn't want to go back on anything like that. So with that being said, I'd like to reference a famous study um, done by a psychologist, Jane Elliott. Uh, I don't know if anyone here is familiar with her. She did this remarkable study uh, back in Ohio, maybe 30 something, 40 something years ago, where she took her students and she essentially uh, pinned them against each other, took an arbitrary characteristic, we called them the blue eyes and the brown eyes, and she decided that the brown eyes were smarter than the blue eyes because she said so. Um, 
and it's one of those things where it's remarkable that you see the influence that you have on kids as they're going through those really, uh, really malleable years. You know, in third grade, within one week, she was able to convince these kids that just because they had blue eyes, that they weren't smarter than the other kids, that they didn't have the ability that the, as the other kids had. They didn't have the, just the same aspect as the other children. Ryan was always there for me to, to show me who I was and, and what I should believe in. Being able to have the remarkable power that he had that I didn't even realize at the time, um, but he truly shows, a, a truly holds a really big point in my life. The best times uh, were when we were kind of going out or not even when we were doing anything, playing sports, playing games. It was just when we were together, uh, doing nothing, hanging out, watching him play video games. Um, you know, doing the stupidest things, those are always the best. And, and those are the things that I'm always going to remember and I'm always going to truly cherish. And I wouldn't do it any other way with any other person. I definitely wouldn't take it back for anybody else. And now we have the beautiful Kelly Franke. Welcome to the family. Thank you, thank you. To grow and to become a family of your own and to cherish and truly have these memories of your own and for your children. And so I want to say thank you for everything and all of the uh, times that you have given me. So I raise a glass as a cheers. As you know what they say, for every strong man has an even stronger woman behind him. To Ryan and Kelly.
floor is gonna make you sweat till you bleed Is that dope enough? Indeed I paid the price to control the dice I'm more precise to the point I'm nice The music takes control Your heart is so unfold Your body is free and behold Dance so you can't dance so you can't dance no more Get on the floor and get raw Dip, come back and upside down Easy now Let me see you move 